Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's video is on a stoichiometry problem, which is chemistry, and these are mass, mass problems, going from mass of one to mass of another. Here's the equation we're going to be using today. Fe2O3 plus three carbon monoxides, react to form two irons plus three carbon dioxides. Anytime you do a stoichiometry problem, the most important thing, please, 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 check to make sure it's balanced. I can't tell you how many times I've done a whole problem, gotten my answer, only to find out that my equation wasn't balanced to start out with. Two irons, two irons, three, six oxygens, six oxygens, and three carbons, three carbons, so I am balanced. First question, calculate the mass, so I know I want grams of CO, carbon monoxide, needed to completely react with 50 grams of iron oxide. These problems are always the same. It doesn't matter what side of the arrow you're, you're looking for. They could be both on the left, both on the right, one on each, go from the right to the left, the left to the right, it doesn't matter. When you do stoichiometry problems, the way that I do them is I always start with what I know. I have 50 grams of iron oxide. Now, I can't go from grams of this to grams of that because I have to go through the equation. Anytime you have grams, you, you know you're going to have to convert it to moles when you're doing stoichiometry problems. So before I go any further, let me look a few things up. I know that the, let me move my board down so you can see this. I know that the mass of carbon is 12 grams per mole. I know that the mass of oxygen is 16 grams per mole. And I just looked up the mass of iron. I didn't know this off the top of my head. It's 55.9 grams per mole. And I'm looking at these two things. So before we do anything else, let's make things a little easier for ourselves. Let's figure out the mass of iron. So I have, uh, let me clear out my calculator. I have 2 times 55.9 plus 3 times 16. So that's 159.8 grams per mole. And you notice I wrote it right above here. I'm keeping everything right in line. That'll help me later on. Carbon monoxide, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16. 12 plus 16 is 28. So this is 28 grams per mole. And the reason I'm doing that now is so I don't have to do it later. Now I can really get into the problem. Okay, so I've got grams of iron oxide. I want to get rid of grams of iron oxide. I want to be left with moles of iron oxide. And if I look right up here, I see the 159.8 goes next to the grams and 1 goes next to the moles. And what that tells me is 50 divided by 159.8. It means I have 0 0.3, how many sig figs? I'm at 3, okay, point. And you know what, let's go ahead and carry this out a few more in the intermediary steps and then when we get to the end we'll figure out sig figs. That's how many moles of iron oxide we have. But guess what? That's not what I was looking for. I want to get rid of moles of iron oxide and I want to be left with moles of CO, carbon monoxide. Anytime it's moles over moles, you can ignore everything else except for that equation that we had at the very beginning. So I know there's a 3 next to the CO and there's a 1 next to the iron oxide. It's not there. It's invisible, but it's there. So 3.0, 0.3 one two nine times three means that I have zero point nine three eight six seven moles CO but I didn't want moles of CO I wanted grams of CO so to go from moles to grams I use this number up here anytime I have moles and grams I know I'm going to use the periodic table anytime I have moles and moles I'm going to use the equation anytime I have moles and liters or um, I'm going to use twenty two point four those are things that will just get stuck in your head. So I have 0.93867 times 28 and that gives me 26.28. I have, let's see, three sig figs, so it's going to be 26.3 grams of carbon monoxide. And that's, folks, how you do stoichiometry problems that are mass mass. If you have any questions, if this doesn't make sense or you need additional clarification, please uh, just email me. There's a link on the YouTube website so that you can email me or write a comment. If you write a comment, that comes straight to my email box also. Thanks and have a great day.